Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 273 of trying a new makeup product every day. And I want to start off by saying happy Halloween to everyone. Unfortunately, I didn't get very festive with Halloween this season and today I'm just trying out like a typical everyday product. I have the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder to try out. I just really didn't get into the holiday spirit for Halloween this year. I really wish that I had. I didn't decorate, I didn't carve any pumpkins, nothing like that. I feel like October just flew by, but oh well. Onto the product. So I have this here in the shade Soft Light, but this comes in five different versions. It comes in a translucent, a matte translucent, banana powder, and then a brightening peach powder. It's like a full size, good amount of powder, and this is only $1. It's cruelty free. So let's see how this soft light shade looks. So let's see how this actually looks on the skin. It does have that like soft light to it because it's got a touch of color, like a touch of beige to it. So I'm going to be trying to bake with this. So I'm going to add some concealer to my makeup look. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Love this one. If you want to see my video on it, I will link that down below. A lot of people use like a crazy amount of this concealer. I don't really go overboard with it. And I use the concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. So yeah, for tonight, for Halloween, I'm just planning to hang out and give out candy to if any trick-or-treaters come by. Luckily, we have like decent weather for it today, so I'm glad that the trick-or-treaters get kind of like as nice of a weather as you can expect in New England for October, end of October. It's just amazing how brightening this concealer is. Okay, so now that the concealer is applied, I'm gonna go ahead and bake my under eyes. That is a lot of powder. And now that it's on my skin, it really just looks like a white powder, even though in the actual package it doesn't look pure white it looks more off-white but now that I'm applying it it does look pure white okay I'm gonna let that bake and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my makeup my skin tends to get really oily as the day goes on and my foundation will tend to not last all day so it's important that I have a good setting powder so hopefully this one dollar version does the trick so if you want an update on the wear test of this check out the description down below and down below I also have links to all of the products that I use I feel like for setting powder, this was kind of messy, but nothing crazy. It doesn't like dust all over the place and make it hard to breathe while applying it. So that's good. I have had some powders do that and I hate it. Okay, so now that I've let my under eyes bake for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it away. And I seriously love this powder brush that I have right here. And this is from the Dollar Tree. I feel like it works really nicely. Okay, wow, my under eyes look fantastic. They look so set, but they don't look dry. And that does tend to happen to me when I bake my under eyes. So I'm happy with that. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer does crease on me in my under eye lines, but now that I've set it and I've baked my under eyes, there's no creasing at all. I just feel like all around my skin looks so smooth, perfected, mattified. I'm just loving how this looks right now. I really hope it keeps my makeup looking like this all day long. And it's really important to me that there is no flashback. So I'm going to do 
a flashback test right now and take a photo with a flash and then I'll insert it and we'll see if there's any flashback. Okay, so that's one of the most hideous photos I've ever taken of myself, but we can see that there's no flashback and that's what matters. <laughs> so all in all, I am so happy with this setting powder. It claims to be the perfect setting powder and I'm gonna have to agree with that. I really do think it's the perfect setting powder. I can't believe it's only $1 because I feel like it's comparable to those high-end powders that I really love, like the Derma Blend and the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. Both of those I really love, and I have videos on them, so I'll link that down below if you wanna see. But this is like a $1 dupe, and I'm so happy that I found this. I would love to try it out in those other colors as well, since I do feel like it's a really good formula. So I would say if you're looking for a good setting powder and you wanna save money, absolutely try out the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. So be sure to check the description box down below because I'll let you know if my makeup stays this perfect all day long. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.